thing you could possibly be in this game is to be a beta tester. Actually, sorry, not just a beta tester. It's a beta tester who is also a cheater. And now we are a beater. And no, we're not beating our meat. We are apparently beating this game. And suddenly a bunch of fucking losers are going to be like, wham, wham. How dare you play this game before and have all this knowledge? And how dare you potentially share this knowledge and help us all fucking succeed in this game? Wham, wham, bro. I'm, I'm sure you guys have at this point seen a bridge episode two, and I'm pretty much giving my point there. But holy shit, some of the things that happened, like Diabel fucking not taking the potion and saying, "Please, for the sake of everyone that you've barely known for ten minutes, save them." You don't, you take this potion. It's like, bro, you didn't have to die. But obviously that was important because the author is trying to portray Kirito into becoming this like lone wolf, right? He seems to also kind of um have some. Uh, past history of not doing well in groups. That's why he's kind of afraid when Kyle, I know it's Clyde, it's Clyde or whatever. It's Kyle basically reached out and said, you want to hang out with us a friend, right? He said, eh, no about that, right? So all the bullshit happening of Diabel refusing the potion or like, what's his name? You know, the fucking pine cone head, the fucking the porcupine head saying, oh, you're a beater. How dare you let Diabel die? I bet you did that on purpose. It's like, oh my fucking God. Oh my fucking God. They all fucking sucks. At least we have Tiffany, our chocolate melon king. I love him. I hope he continues to live. Let's begin today's reaction, though. And yes, it's Klein, not Kyle. I actually called him Clyde also. My bad. Uh, what? Black Neko? Am I watching the right episode? This is episode three, right? Uh, all right, he's got a party. Kampai! The fuck? He's not party Okay. Where's Asuna here? What's this level now? 20. <gasps> 20? No way! Bro's lying. Level 4. So maybe he's lying because he doesn't want them to know that he's like a beater. And if he, if they then knows that he's higher level, then how did you level up so fast, you know? You're a and then he'll get excommunicated again, maybe, yeah? Now, bro smurfing, yeah. He keeps saying how being a solo player is bad, but he is a solo player, right? Nah, fuck your guild. Sachi. Do I need to remember these guys' names, or are they all gonna fucking die? Do I, like, I, you know, like, in instant death, whenever new characters gets introduced, I'm like, do I even need to memorize this? Do I need to pay attention? Are they gonna die? We'll find out, I guess. All right, Sachi. Jesus. You gotta do babysitting, man. So there are tanks. There are just no healers? Everybody uses swords, but people use axe. That's just called sword arts, whatever. What is just everyone here is a member of our school's PC research club. So basically, these kids are basically just like high school friend group. Alright. Okay, he's socializing. He's making friends. This is like Hachiman character development, dude. Wow, Kirito? Sachi, get in there. God, Sachi's a fucking noob. Oh, the mace user Tetsuo! Wow! Great job! Awesome, bro! Sachi, why are you looking so fucking happy? You were a fucking drag there. Clearing group passes the... 28th floor? Dude! We... Episode 1 to 2 was like, Yo, guys, it's been like a month and no one's cleared one floor. <laughs> the next episode. All right, the clearing group has passed 28 floors. What the fuck kind of time skip do we have? Damn, is there anything else? Okay, that's pretty much it. Clearing group? Is that a guild? The, the difference is that they don't have a bunch of fucking Sachi that we need to fucking coach and babysit, dude. Sachi's the reason why you guys can't get there. So is it like an elite group of beaters? I'm too hard on Sachi? No, I'm gonna be even harder, dude. I don't- You know exactly how I feel about weak characters like that, like Sakura, dude. No, dude. <laughs> They're gonna get everything from me. Ah, the power of friendship, of course, yes. Yeah, you're being protected by Kirito. 
<laughs> are these death flags? These are death flags, right? These gotta be death flags. Of course, the safety of my friends is my top priority, guys. They have the power of friendship. Sachi, you gonna die. You ain't join the clearing group. No, you won't. I thought you'll even make it past this fucking episode. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, okay, okay. Anime cliches, anime tropes, right? It's like wholesome, positive slice of life moments. You know, nice music playing, talking about our friends and dreams and the future. And then everyone dies. How many times has this happened over and over again in the animes that we've watched? The black cats are not gonna improve. Oh, look, guys, so much wholesome slice of life moments. Wow, cherish these memories. Why is Kirito 48 already? Wasn't he just 40 back in like the intro scene? How did he level up so much after that? What the fuck? Oh, wow, 200,000 gold. <laughs> more, more, <laughs> more death flags. Pretty soon, buying our own house will no longer be a dream, guys. Wow, I can't wait to have pets and have a garden. Wow, it's our dream together as friends. <sighs> they gonna die. <laughs> Sachi, you need better gear. You suck. Does she? Does she almost have it? I bet Sachi's the reason everyone's gonna fucking die, dude. Look at her face. May 16, 2023. 28th floor. We're on the 28th floor. Oh, wow. Clyde! Sorry, Clyde! I fucked his name up again. Kyle! Kyle's like a samurai now! Why is he so cool? Yo, his gear is sick! I can't believe you're still alive! What about that, Mark? In a party? Guild, okay. That kind of feels bad if Kyle's like, damn, you joined them and not ours when I invited you? Like, damn, I thought we were friends, bro. Kind of cold between them. Kyle is such a good guy. Kirito's too emo and edgy, dude. Then again, Kyle is like what, like a mid twenties, like a grown ass adult. He's like balls deep, sixty nine. Is pretty mature, right? And and Kirito is like a fucking fourteen year old edge lord. So actually, this probably does make sense. Sachi went out and hasn't returned. Well, I wonder what's gonna happen, guys. Surely the death flags are not gonna go off immediately, right? Sachi, what you doing? We can track players. Cool, we have a tracking feature. Oh, she just... Sachi. I hear just being emo under the bridge. Yeah, you're worrying them even more despite being so useless and making them already worry. What are you doing, Sachi? Pick up your fucking weight. <laughs> Together? Why? The fuck? You run away by yourself. You don't like the black hats? Bitch, you stuck here. You gotta deal with it. She might be down. Oh, this girl, like... Is not thriving at all. Like, she never wanted to be... I don't even know if she ever wanted to play the game. But she's stuck here and she's like, Damn, I just can't do this anymore. Is she gonna actually off herself? Or is that a lie? Uh, 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 ask the fucking main developer, Kaiba or some shit. He's crazy, bro. It's the cog in the wheel. Don't ask questions. Just climb up the floors. Oh, she's losing it, man. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> I'm a monster. Am I the only person that's like shit on Sachi like this during Sword Art Online reactions? I've been other reactors of being so empathetic, be like, oh, this poor girl, bless her soul. I'm so sad. I hope she lives. And I'm just here like, <laughs> this bitch gonna die. <laughs> Death flags. I'm so mean. I'm so fucking mean, but I just sorry. I just can't deal with weak ass fucking characters. <laughs> yeah, you will. You can die. No, you're gonna die. You sure? Are we sure being cautious enough? Nah, you're gonna die. Nah, you're not clearing 100 floors. <laughs> Cap! This is so cruel, giving her so much fake fucking news. Oh, oh, what the f- What? You wanna sleep in- What about Asuna? What, what happened to her? Is she still stuck and not being able to open the menu? She can't find where we are? What the fuck is Sachi doing in her bedroom right now? What the fuck? <laughs> this isn't the ship, right? 
This is not a ship, right? Are you still asleep? Are you awake? You keep saying that. I don't know. Are you sure? Okay. Hey, hmm? Uh, bye? <laughs> Old man boomer. More slice of life moments to further solidify our relationship within the friend group. So when they die, we feel bad. What did you just say? Up for dungeons. Wait! <laughs> What you, and how about going to one of those upper dungeons? Yeah? Oh, it'll be more efficient, you say. Oh, it'll be just fine? It's just gonna be okay? <laughs> this is not ready perfect, Rip. This is gonna be okay. You know what happens when we say gonna be okay. Are y'all ready to die? Here we go. 27th floor. Ooh. Wait, so if everyone dies here except Kirito, doesn't that mean that the guy that got the house just survives because he just went to buy a house? Lucky him, I guess, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Mimic, mimic, mimic. No, 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 no. Mimic, freedom, freedom, mimic. No, no, get out. No, 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 no. No, no. You don't fucking approach this, dude. We gotta be cautious. But he's just gonna say, gonna be okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And you dead. What's happening? What's happening? Oh shit! Oh shit, here we go! Doesn't work! Their teleport doesn't work either! Sachi, are you ready to die? Oh! I thought Kirito would save them all, dude! I thought like Kirito might try really hard and like save everyone because he's a little 48, but this dude. He just gets gangbanged. <laughs> Why was that so gruesome? Why was that so... Yo, I can't wait to watch the abridged episode for this. <laughs> How is Sachi gonna die? Tetsu... Oh, no. Tetsu's dead. Dude, he just got bitch slapped. Sachi's still alive, though. Sachi? Sachi? Surely Kirito will save Sachi, right? Surely. <laughs> I don't feel bad. You tripped 20 fucking death lives. You don't think I prepared myself for this? You think I get emotionally invested into a character like Sachi who I've barely known for fucking 13 minutes and 15 seconds? No, I'm a veteran at this. I never get my feelings hurt. I will shit on a character if they get death lives thrown because I will never lose. Goodbye, Sachi. What are you saying? I love you? Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> Christmas Eve, by the way. <laughs> happy, happy! <laughs> Everybody's dead! Who is this girl? Is that a cat girl? That was 49th floor, by the way? How much of a time skip was that? Holy shit, I should, yeah, I should keep, ch I should like, um, take better note of this. Holy shit! Did he always have access to 49th floor? Cause he's like way higher level, right? I thought that fucking clearing group only got to like, it was from May to December already. God damn. So a long time has been um, like, so it's been like uh, at least like six to seven months, huh? Since like a uh, time skip. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Damn, dude. Damn the clear. I wonder what the clearing groups at this point. Okay. We got some kind of cat girl informant. <laughs> New event. Nicholas Christmas event. Sounds fun. I always love events like this in like Maple Story. Because he's a beater. He travels alone. What level is he? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I missed that. Damn, that was fucking quick with the UI. What level is he now? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Level 70? Bro, is power level. Then again, I don't really know, like, relative to everyone else. Like, how good is level 70, you know? Oh, we can get a resurrection item? Don't tell me you're gonna fucking resurrect Sachi. Don't, don't tell me you're gonna resurrect Sachi, dude. Oh, what the fuck? Damn. I think we're skipping a lot too much, but... Kirito's mentality is very interesting. 
there, there's a lot of shit that's been like kind of hinted in the beginning. Obviously, it's very antisocial. Like even with Kyle, he's still not cool with them because of himself. Even though Kyle's completely willing to just move forward, right? He just wants to be alone. He probably blames himself for all the deaths, right? So now he doesn't even want to pursue like beating this game. He just die alone. This is what happens when you get attached to Sachi, man. He should have never gotten attached to Sachi. Damn, he really, he really took that beater. Oh! The house guy! He lived, cause house, right? He bought the house and he got the... Oh no, he brought the keys. Each key was supposed to be, you know, for our friends, right? Oh no, the house keys. Well, he survived though, at least. You got lucky, bro. And then Kirito gets like blamed for it. No. No, he's not. He's not gonna jump. I mean, it's sunset lighting. Oh my god, he's gonna jump. So oh! Maybe he wasn't so lucky! No! Oh. <laughs> Dude! What happened? It was such a happy episode! <laughs> You're part of the black cats now. Everything's gonna be fine. Our dreams of getting a house together, guys. Wow. Power of friendship. Everyone dies and the dude that fucking comes back with the house is commits suicide. Oh my god. So, the author really hates Kirito, huh? The author just like wants to destroy Kirito's mentality and just making him to this just like cold lone wolf. But it's kind of backfiring if he just wants to kill himself now. It's not even your arrogance! They fucking wanted to go to the higher dungeons! Sorry, the subs are cut off. It says if I manage to defeat Nicholas. Okay, it's 35th floor. We're gonna beat Nicholas and get the resurrection? <laughs> Only Sachi? What about Tetsuo, dude? What about everyone else, dude? I'm intentionally not reading your comments because the anime did not state that and you're basically spoiling me right now so I have all the rights to ban you right now, right? And I've been intentionally ignoring it, playing it dumb to make it fun content but if you want to ruin it for me, I will fucking ban you! It's not that big of a spoiler. All right, level basically scaled the dungeon harder. Maybe it's his fault, okay? Just, just, just realize that if the anime didn't say anything about it, just maybe don't mention it, right? Right? Just drink some tea, right? You know, put that tea emoji and just, you know, have some fun with it. So, like, we're only gonna save Sachi? No one else? Oh, Kyle! You knew where it was? We're competing with Kyle then. I think Kirito understands that. Oh, no. You know Kyle has all the right intentions, trying to get Kirito involved, trying to make him like save him from this like isolation hellscape, but like you know Kirito's gonna get super edgy and then like lash out at Kyle, right? Fuck, is he gonna do that? It almost sounds like he wants to atone for his own sins, you know? I have to do it myself. Straight up, this is- Kyle is such a good bro, he doesn't even have to do this, he's reaching out to a kid that's just like so down on himself. Kyle is such a giga chat. He's such a good person. He's trying to help Kirito all, but Kirito can't see that. Kirito doesn't understand. People like Kirito right now, they're too fucking emo. They're too down on themselves, right? They're gonna lash out on the exact people that's reaching out to help. This is how that works, right? A lot of people, when they're super depressed and they feel very vulnerable, they feel like they need to do it by themselves and other people try to help, they'll like lash out on the person trying to help, which is really fucked. <laughs> What are these players? Divine Dr Oh, that was one of the guilds. That was one of the guilds. Beat them all myself. PvP, dude. People are gonna die. I swear to God, if Kyle dies from this, holy shit, could you imagine if Kyle dies from this? His entire party gets wiped. He's like, save Kirito. Well, it's not saving, but basically making, you know, Kirito go get it by himself. Like, that. he's too fucking... He's too good of a character. And good characters usually die. That's how things work. Tiffany and Kyle do, they're such giga chads. <laughs> Not depressing at all. All right, where's Nicholas? The red nosed reindeer, right? Or some shit? That's the episode's title. Hello. This is Saint Nicholas in this game. <laughs> what the f I shouldn't be making fun of this. Some, some people actually, I don't want to say it actually. Okay, hello, Nicholas the Renegade. Yeah. 
You have to voice acting and off screens. Did Nicholas just get off screened? I mean, I don't need to see the fight, but okay. Kyle's party seems to have survived. It exists. The resurrection. Kirito. He looks even more depressed. It was bullshit because again, this is all assumptions, right? After a player dies, but before the light effects completely disappear with the death. <laughs> so it's too late. It does work. It's just you have 10 seconds, you know, to fucking use it. It's clearly too fucking late. But hey, this is still good, right? We can use this for the future, right? As long as we get them within those 10 seconds, we can still use this to save somebody in the future. Hopefully, we have to save Kyle or fucking Tiffany or Asuna or some shit. <laughs> He's gonna lash out at you, man. This kid doesn't want your help. He's beyond help. Such a good guy. It's too good. If only he grabbed him with like a pinch, you know? Cause like that was a full hand grab, but you know in rom-com scenes where the girl like says, wait, and then they'll pinch the sleeve. You know, if Kyle did that, it would have been funny, but Kyle's too good. Kirito, can you stop being such a fucking edge loader? I know you're 14, but goddamn. Back to depression. You know what solves depression? Gift box from such? She? But she dead. What? Merry Christmas, Kirito. Don't tell me this is a pre-recorded message. And I thought she was gonna say uh, like, if you have this by now, maybe I'm already dead. I always loved you. Thank you for all the help. And the kid is just gonna break down even more. This is fucked, dude. This is fucked. Stop <laughs> twisting the dagger. <laughs> this is so cliche, dude! <laughs> she knew from the beginning! No, 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 I'm not gonna feel bad! I'm not gonna feel bad! It's your fault! Exactly, it's your fault, you know it! <sighs> that was all cap. He never believed it either. So maybe this will, like, you know, make him move forward and stop being so depressed. <laughs> oh, she. <laughs> okay. Yeah, of course, I'd be happy too. I'd be like, shit, we got a cracked player in our party. I'm gonna leech. But this is what'll continue Kirito to, like, survive. Just one episode girl. Random girl within the span of one episode. Stop it. Stop it. He's gonna fucking cry while listening to this, right? Don't. Please stop twisting the dagger. Why is this so depressing, dude? Why is this story so fucking depressing, dude? You didn't finish the song! You just humped it! At least we got closure, though. At least we got actual closure at the end. And that's the episode. This... might be the most depressing Christmas Eve Christmas episode I've ever seen in anime. No, wait! Classroom of the Elite. Christmas Eve. Anna Koji told Kay, fuck off. <laughs> now, that, that, that was pretty sad too, but holy shit, dude. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck is this episode? If I wasn't memeing around and like shitting on Sachi, if I actually got emotionally invested, I would have probably cried. But I intentionally get my guard up because I don't want to cry. It's like a little defense mechanism for my part. If you think it's fucked up, it's just a, it's just a coping mechanism. I like to shit on characters like this before they die because I know they're gonna fucking die. Cause if you start talking about all your fucking dreams and hopes and all the slice of like moments and you sh and like, you know, and if we've already seen people die before, it's like damn, like this is crazy. They're gonna 100% die. Sachi is the one that actually changes Kirito to move forward though, huh? I truly thought that'd be Asuna or something to do it, but Sachi kind of goaded in this episode. One episode, she has such an impact on the show. Like, we're probably never gonna see her again because she's clearly dead, but like, this is crazy. Like, in the span of one episode, this random girl shows up on the there's such an emotional impact. I think Klein's emotional impact here hits pretty hard too, because like, he cares so much about Kirito. I guess that first episode we did bond, he did teach him the, you know, the, the basics, and now a lot of time has passed, and obviously, you know, it's life or death. He doesn't want people to die either, right? But 
like, ugh, I should probably prefer myself for when Klein in it inevitably dies. Like, you know, like, good guys like them is gonna die. And Kirito is probably not gonna realize how good of a person Klein is until he dies. And then he's probably gonna fucking collapse on the ground. Fucking have memory flashback about all these different moments that Klein was trying to look out for him and be like, if only I, you know, paid attention in the past. It's that kind of fucking trope, isn't it? So yes, I will, I will put my guard up, but damn. Three episodes so far, I don't think this enemy is trashy. Then again, this is like the peak, right? Like this, this is like the best, you know, SAO is ever gonna be, right? Because people say like the first 14 episodes fucking peak and then everything just goes like, Whoa! but until then we will have a lot of fun. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.